Alright, so in this video, let's talk about my experience of the data scientist uh, scientist interview at Indusind Bank. Um, I'll talk you through all the three rounds and the kind of questions that were asked. So let's start with the first one. Uh, in the first one, it was more on the little bit on the hands-on side, especially with Python um, and some machine learning questions. So uh, the first question that the interviewer asked was how do you rate yourself in Python, machine learning and I think SQL as well. And after that he asked me to open a Google Colab notebook and he said write uh, a, a program to print all the prime numbers less than 20. And this question was asked to me um, in another interview as well that was an online test. But this prime number question is apparently a good one, so make sure you, you practice it um, a couple of times. The brute force approach is simple, you run two for loops and then check condition and print the number. So this was the first one. Um, second question was, so there is this iris data set I am sure you are aware about. Uh, in this data set, there are three, tar uh, three categories in the target variable. So he asked me to predict, uh, not predict, sorry, he asked me to print all the, the highest values of the sepal length that is an independent variable in all the three categories. Uh, so the initially he asked me to print the second highest sepal length in all the three categories. But I was taking some time so he said okay you print the first uh, or the highest a sepal length in all the three categories of the target variable. So there was another question then uh, in the same data set. So we have four numerical variables sepal length, sepal, uh, sepal width, petal length and petal width. So uh, for every row we, we need to create a new column basically and among these four values whichever is the highest we need to return that or print that a value for the new column. So I use iter rows for this but I think I am sure there will be some other ways to do it. Um, so these were the questions on Python then he moved on to machine learning and the first question was uh, what are the algorithms that you are very confident about or maybe your favorite algorithm something along that line. Um, and I said logistic regression, trees, uh, linear regression etc. So um, he asked uh, uh, about logistic regression that in logistic, what, what is the cost function? Then um, why are we not using M, uh, MSC, which is mean squared error that we use for logistic regression? So why not use that function here? Um, so this was uh, about logistic regression. Then he asked about the hyperparameters of logistic regression then how is the optimization, how does the optimization works and then he moved to XGBoost and he was like uh, why XGBoost and then what are the hyperparameters and then what is the loss function in XGBoost and how does the optimization process work. So these were I think the important questions from there and then he asked about type 1 and type 2 error. So I connected that to to hypothesis testing so um, he said that what is p value as you mentioned just mentioned that uh, something about hypothesis testing so what is p value um, so more or less these were the important questions from the round one and uh, this was after this round one there was another round basically two more rounds the second one was with someone who, who was leading that project or who is leading that project so uh, that was more uh, at the higher level, like higher level view of the project. So uh, she asked about the uh, life cycle of the data science, of a data science project and um, if we are using let's say XGBoost, why use XGBoost over something like logistic regression. Uh, if you are given um, a data set, how would you go about um, sort of implementing or building the models, what are the steps 
and so on. So more on the you know broader level kind of not getting into the technicals, but general understanding and general understanding about the algorithms, about the data set, about the approach. Um, so there, there was um, more or less the second round and there was the final round after that. In the final round, the person tried to understand my work experience. So I worked for a year um, at Carquinos Healthcare. So what kind of work did I do there? So I had put a project on my in my resume and he asked me to explain that project, went into the uh, nitty gritties of it. Um, and basically a detailed understanding of what I did um, at my last organization. So from resume that was the main part then um, then he asked me one puzzle I think that was towards the end that if you have let's say 20 goals, um, 10 white and 10 black. Now you have a box that is divided into two partitions, two equal partitions. The aim is to increase the chances of drawing a white bowl, basically maximizing the chances of drawing a white bowl from the box. So uh, it's a random kind of um, pick. So you can pick from any of the partitions. And uh, eventually what we want is to maximize the overall probability of picking a white bowl from the box. So how would you divide these 20 bowls such that the objective is achieved? There was a puzzle um, before that or somewhere during that uh, interview. What else he asked was, uh, what is your understanding of you know personal loans, etc. And let's say if I am um, I am a shopkeeper or something and I want to expand my business so um, I come to you and ask you for let's say 4 lakhs of loan so what are what are all the things that you would look at before sanctioning the loan before approving my loan of 4 lakhs so what are the different angles that you would look at um, this was I think more or less um, this was the third round and then after the third round, it is again the HR and the negotiation, etc. But these were the three uh, main technical kind of rounds. Um, not really getting into the technicals, but I think it, it, it was more of an overview, in, especially in the last two rounds. The first one was, yes, a little bit um, hands-on in Python and then machine learning questions, um, technical machine learning questions. But um, last two were more of you know the overview of how how you look at the problem, how you look approach the problem, algorithms and so on. So this was my experience um, of data scientist interview at in 